and warning parents it could trigger vulnerable youth. It's one thing to say, oh, talk about it, it's okay, but we're not telling people what to do next. Mike Stroh battled mental illness for 18 years before he sought help. He now advocates for a total rethink of how people are treated in the system. If you are not in danger of killing yourself or harming somebody else, you will not be admitted to a hospital the majority of the time. So we need the community or people with lived experience to be creating spaces and ideas and ways for people to help themselves. Mike Stroh used to get high a lot. From age 13 to 30, he smoked pot almost every day. I would need to get high or know I could get high before I could do anything else. He's not against legalization, but says people should stop thinking it's a harmless, natural cure-all. It robbed me of emotional maturity, of cognitive development. I was really good in math and all those kind of things, and that just came crashing down. We all make mistakes. We all screw things up. Michael Stroh smoked pot almost it's every day from age 13 to 30. Now he talks to students about how it damaged his emotional and cognitive development. And teens are listening. None of this happened when I was in high school. There was no mental health awareness, no talking about drugs, no, I mean, it was, this is your brain on drugs. And they would like crack the egg in the frying pan. I was like, Shh. And if I had other people that I could identify with and be like, wow, that guy smoked as much weed as me and here he is telling me about it, that might have made a big difference for me. I started using drugs when I was 12, primarily marijuana, and I was high on marijuana pretty much every second of my life for about 18 years. I was able to lie to myself because of the societal perception of marijuana that it was okay because I wasn't doing heroin and I went to university and all this other crap that kept me in denial. Wow, this is really bad for me and it's really messing my brain up and it's robbing me of emotional development. I literally was about a 13, 14 year old kid emotionally and a 30 year old father and that was really challenging. As more people from my generation and kids now grow up and reveal the effects of chronic marijuana use, then I think we'll have a better understanding of what's happening.